got the putting the motor together and uh, right now we're uh, putting the new studs in and somewhere around here here's the head bolt studs I'm gonna go ahead and put them in get ready to put this head on they're in and I put never seize on all the threads just a little bit I'm going through the connecting rods here and I got cylinders one and two done and torqued with the uh, cotter pins, but number three is when I torque it is locked up. So I got some plastic gauge and uh, we're gonna go ahead and looks like it's missing a shim on this one, but I got a shim on the other side. So we're gonna pull this cap and uh, put some plastic gauge in there and see how much we need to, we need to uh, shim. I had put this motor together years ago and uh, never torqued them down so now we're just finishing it cap off and just as i suspected there's a brass shim on this side but for whatever reason i didn't put a brass shim on that side i don't know if it anywhere fell from one and a half to two thousandths so that's right where i want to be I with those shims the story on this motor everything's rebuilt it's got new babbitt um but it's actually really a cool story. Um, I got it at a, like a state sale. The old man had died, but I had no history on it when uh, I got it. And then later I inquired on it. When I had got this, I tore it apart. Now this was Golly, let's see, I'm 30, almost 31. I was 19 then when I got this motor and uh, I tore it apart and because it was bad. Um, I, it was locked up. That's why it has some discoloration there. Actually, a lot of this is uh, some dis discoloration in there. You can see I hone the cylinders, but uh, it had no spark plugs in it. It was full of acorns and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, the story on it is the in the I believe the sixties the old man's boy had a Model A coupe and the motor was getting wore out in that Model A coupe and the old man had built this motor. I think he was a, I don't think he was an automotive machinist. I think he was a uh like a just a regular machinist and uh had put Poured Babbitt and put this motor together, brand new. Bore, it's bored uh, sixty thousandths over, and uh, put this motor together. And before he had a chance to put it in the car, the boy wrecked that coupe, and the old man was mad and uh, never gave the boy this motor. And it sat in his shop, well, till he died. And when he died, it got rolled outside as they were cleaning out the out the shop and you know it was an estate sale but it was you know years had gone by and this motor had stayed got left outside it never got sold and uh, filled up with water and um, of course you know squirrels got in there and made their homes and had pine needles in the oil pan and uh, when I was taking it apart I just thought it was an old motor because it was all rusty but I started taking everything apart and there was still break-in grease on every in everything in all the connecting rods break-in grease in the between all the rings and and uh i couldn't believe it breaking grease on everything the valves everything and i thought whoa this is a good motor and the babbitt still had all the shims in it these are all the original shims i've just cleaned this motor up and painted it and uh i thought holy cow so that's when i called and uh inquired on it and that's when they told me that this was a good motor at one time so what i have done knowing that is hone the cylinders and almost all of them are good mostly it all came out i only took a couple thou out on the hone i took about two thousandths out and really that's just discoloration so i'm i'm really thinking this is gonna be a great motor and uh yeah for i think i paid a hundred dollars for it so now it's taken me so many years to put this together, but that's just how life is. 
So let me go ahead and get the cotter pins in this one, get that one torqued. And I already did all my mains. And uh, I guess at that point we'll uh, put the oil pan on that I have over there. I actually have two oil pans, but uh, I'll go ahead and show you. This is a 30, 31 or 29 through 31 oil pan that's just a regular oil pan. This one that I sandblasted and cleaned up, of course, again, years ago, so it's got some scratches now, is a 28. There's no difference except for this. It has an access panel that you can go and pull the oil pump out of the motor without pulling the pan. And Ford went away from this because it's just extra money, extra parts um, that isn't really needed. But I think it's cool, so I'm going to go ahead and put this pan on and uh, have it in this motor. All the connecting rods are torqued down and set with proper clearance. And uh, went ahead and put the rope seal in the front here. You can't, see you can't see it, but it's in there. There it is. And got the oil pan rope seal in the cork there's a cork gasket right there that's in so now i'm going to put a dab of rtv here here and on the corners here and here and the reason why is because when i did the model a air compressor i did not do rtv and it leaks out the corners even though i left everything a little long it just never and i was supposed to leave these long i read that these actually shrink so, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some RTV on it, and then we'll uh, bolt this pan on. The oil pump I'm going to do afterwards, since this is the 28 pan with the removable bottom. All of these uh, bolts were bagged and tagged, so Adeline decided to help and uh, take them all out of the bag for me. Are you helping? Are you helping? Yeah. Gasket on the other one I had, or the used one.